I see your brother has left no leftovers for my pet chicken Dudley. Who, by the way, loves mini quiches. Esteban, what was your biggest dream when you came to this country? Oh, I was hoping to be a millionaire baseball player. But I cannot throw, catch, or spit tobacco. So this job is nice, too. So you want to be a bellhop your whole life? Oh, well, no. Someday I want to manage the hotel. But that is very far off. Is it? Think about it. If you can concede, you can believe. And you will achieve. I will? Could I do it by this weekend? Because I could use the cash. It's possible. Only if you take the first step. Are you willing to take the first step? Yes. <laughs> what is the first step? Only you know. Because you are the pilot of your own life. Oh, this is a great country. I walk into this room of bellhop. I am walking out a pilot and a manager. Oh, Dudley's gonna be so proud. They want blue collar chic? I'll give them blue collar chic. Ah! Stop moving! Stop sticking me! Take it like a man. Now raise your hand. How much longer do you need me? I can't be late for school. You see, I have taken Cody's advice to pilot my own life by enrolling in a night class to improve my English and loose my accent. Loose? I have not started the class yet, okay? Nice dress. Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> hey, is Cody in here? No. And I'm creating my look. So leave. All right, but I need to call Cody. Let's see if I can get a signal in here. Uh, one bar. Uh, two bars. One bar. Hey, Esteban, can you turn this way, please? Hmm? Thanks. Wait a minute. Is this Maddie's new camera phone? There's a camera on this? Cool. You're spying on me. I feel so violated. Why would you do this to me? Haven't I always been nice to you? No. And I love Maddie. Well, if you really love her, you'll make sure she loses this contest. Why? Because if she wins, she'll become successful and move to New York, Paris, or Milan. And you'll never see her again. No. I can never let that happen. That's what I said before she made me put on this dress. Esteban, there you are. I am going to need you to work late tonight. Oh, no, I can't, Mr. Mosby. I am piloting my own life by taking a night school class three times a week. I am going to lose my accent. <laughs> lose? I better make that four times a week. Uh -huh. There y'all are. Cody, I got a bone to pick with you. Esteban, why are you talking like that? Cuz. My new instructor, Jeb, is from Texas. Now, if I want to pilot my own life, I got to do that at a rodeo. Yeehaw! Thank y'all. The coast is empty. Here's Camp! Oh, what a cute doggy! Does he know any tricks? Tons. Oh, here's his best one. Mr. Mosby's coming! Hide! <gasps> Oh, I know that one, too. But he always finds me. Stop licking me. It's disgusting. And it tickles. <laughs> okay, so he gets hide and lick confused. Now, Madeline, we have strict rules about dogs in this hotel. <laughs> but Ivana gets to come in. She's a Tipton. But my house is being fumigated and Scamp had nowhere to go. Please. Look at his little face. Very well. But I don't want my rug soiled. That goes for all of you. Scamp! We have to find him! Okay, okay, okay. Think like a dog. Think like a dog. Please tell me you haven't lost your dog in my hotel. Uh, I haven't lost him. We're playing hide and seek, and he's winning. Oh, and he's really good. Marco! Oh, no. First of all, that's not hide and seek. Secondly, you don't answer yourself. And thirdly, it's Polo. <laughs> Find that dog and remove him from the premises, or I will remove both of you permanently. 
Hoyo. <laughs> Donna so much. I can almost smell her favorite food. Steak tartare with truffles and caviar. And I can smell Scamp's favorite food. Pizza <sighs> with kibble. Esteban, put on the drink. Be cover? Bye-bye. Wait! Leave the doggies be. Where are they? They're in love. Do not separate them because they come from different worlds. I'll be having you with extra kibble if you don't take us to those dogs right now. I am so sorry, doggies. They made me tell. Poor Ivana. Did that big mean mutt hurt you? I want these dogs out of here immediately. <laughs> <gasps> never growled at me before. What's gone into you? I told you, they're in love. And if you loved your children, you would not come between them. He's right. We shouldn't let our personal prejudices stand in their way. Prejudice, prejudice. With Lord Corcoran, <laughs> Ivana's puppies would be champions. Oh, but Miss London, look at them. They are such a beautiful couple. Oh, she does look happy. And if she's happy, aren't you happy? Yeah. Mommy's happy. I'm going to name my puppy Maria Consuelo Margarita Francesca. Yeah, de now you're dreaming. You're going to wait right here. Actually, you're going to wait back there. <laughs> oh, man! Take it away, Dali. <laughs> Amazing? That's you making the tippy tippy sounds. Aren't I amazing? <laughs> Next! Welcome to the tip in. It's not his fault. His hat was too tight. Uh -uh. <laughs> He's doing the best he can. You're scaring him. I'm just giving him direction. While well, eating a chicken fajita, it could be his brother. You, sir, are not nice. Didn't bother me when my mother said it. Doesn't bother me when you say it. We're taking a five. Welcome to the Tipton. Where everything is 